Mr. Cleon here from Cleon Maths. Today we're going to be looking at factorising trinomials. And it will be factorising trinomials with a unit to a coefficient of x squared. What that means is, when we look at an example, the number in front of x squared will just be 1. And the reason why you're looking at that first is that those are the simplest types of examples to start with. And in a later video we'll do ones where the number in front of x squared is bigger than 1. So let's get straight into it right now. So we'll start off by looking at an example. Example 1 says factorise x squared plus 5x plus 6. Now, from a previous video, you should remember that factorising means to put inside brackets. And we've already looked at expanding brackets, we would get an, an answer where the answer is like x squared plus 5x plus 6. And we're just going to go backwards and see how to put it inside brackets. To show you that, if I draw a rectangle, and I split this rectangle up into 4, you remember this from when we, used to, we did factorising. So this here, x squared would be in the top left, and the 6 would be in the bottom right. And we'll be looking for two things that add up in the middle to make 5x. So to show that, there's my x, and x makes x squared. And I'm going to have something times something equals 6, but we also have to add or take away together to make 5 because of this box here. And they also have to add or take away to make 5 because of this box here and this box here. So that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to be looking at numbers at times together to make 6 and always factors of 6, but also add together to make the middle term, in this case, 5. So let's go straight into how we can do that. So example one says, factorise x squared, add 5x, add 6. So our steps, first of all, are to find factors of 6. 6 being the last number here. So I just list them. So I've got 1 and 6. And the other option I could have is 2 and 3. These have to add together to make the middle number, which in this case is 5. Now the only way I can add these sets of numbers to make 5 is to do plus 2 plus 3 equals plus 5. 1 and 6 can't be added together to make 5, so that's my two things that I need there, plus 2 and plus 3. Now if I go back to having a rectangle, that means that remember we've got x squared and we've got 6, but the 5x is we split up into 2x and 3x. 2x and 3x make 5x, so we need x and x is x squared, x plus 2, x times 2 is 2x, x plus 3, 3 times x is 3x. So my answer, the fully factorised form, is x plus 2, the top line remember, and x plus 3. That will always be a double bracket when it's a trinomial, and a trinomial remember is when you've got three things, one's x squared, one's just x, and then a number on the end. Okay, let's look at a second example. Example 3 says factorise x squared add x, take away 6. So you'll notice a little bit of difference this time. We have the first two examples were all add, add, add. But this time we've got an add and a take away. So we need to be a little bit careful with our signs here. So step 1 is still the same. We need factors of, but this time it's not 6 our number. The whole thing is minus 6, so we have factors of negative 6. So we just list them. So when listing factors of negative 6, it's just like 6, but a plus and a minus makes a minus. So I'm going to have plus 6 and minus 1. 6 times minus 1 is minus 6. I'm going to have minus 1 and... I'm going to have plus 1 and minus 6. 1 times minus 6 is minus 6. Then going on to 3 and 2, I could have the option 3 and minus 2. 
or I could have minus 3 and plus 2. And really all I need to do is check what do they make when I put them as a sum and what number do I get? So if you look at the first one, 6 take away 1 is 5. Well, I'm looking for, if you look back up here, 1x, so it's not that. 1 take away 6 is minus 5, well, it's not that then. 3 take away 2 is plus 1. Plus 1x, that's what I'm looking for. Good, that's the one I want. Just check the last one, minus 3 add 2, that's minus 1. That's not the one I want. So we've got plus 3 take away 2. So just again to show this a little rectangle, that means my answer is x add 3, x minus 2, and just checking that makes what we want. x times x is x squared, x times 3 is 3x, minus 2 times x is minus 2x, minus 2 times 3 is minus 6. We've got our x squared in there, which is what one of the things. We've got a minus 6, which is the other thing. 3x take away 2x is plus 1x. So we're done. We've, we've answered the question. So now to write out the full factors, the answer is x plus 3 times x minus 2. Example 4 says factorise x squared minus 8x, add 15. Again, you'll notice here, a little bit different. We've got plus 15 on the end, but we've got a minus 8 in the middle. We've got a minus and a plus turning up somehow. It's still exactly the same procedure. We need factors of the final number, so factors of the number plus 15. So we could have 1 in 15. plus 1, plus 15. We could have plus 3 and plus 5. But we need to think of also a minus times a minus makes a plus. So we could also have the opposite of minus plus 1 and plus 15, which is minus 1 and minus 15, minus 3 and minus 5. So checking what this sums actually equal. Remember, we're now trying to make, when we do these sums, minus 8, because it's minus 8x we did in the middle. 1 plus 15 is 16, so that's not the answer. 3 plus 5 is 8, but it's plus 8. That's close to the answer, but not quite. Minus 1 take away 15 is obviously minus 16. Obviously not what we're looking for. Minus 3 take away minus 5 is minus 8. We're looking for minus 8. Job done. Quick check with our rectangle, which will come in handy when it's harder. We've got x take away 3, x take away 5, which gives us x squared here, minus 3x, minus 5x, plus 15, because minus 5 times minus 3 is 15. And minus 3 minus 5 is minus 8, so it's the correct answer. So we then write down our final answer, which is the top x minus 3 and the side x minus 5. That's it, fully factorised as a double bracket. So example 5, the last example says, factorise fully 2x squared plus 2x minus 24. Now right at the beginning I say, well when we're doing ones where the number in front of x squared is 1, but I've lied a little bit because this is still one we can do. So if you remember from a previous video, if there's a common factor, we do that first. Now, none of the other examples have had a common factor, so I've not mentioned it, but this one does have a common factor. So we'll always check for a common factor first. And in this case, the common factor between everything is 2. Because 2 goes into 2 x squared, 2 goes into 2x and 2 goes into minus 24. So we take 2 out as a common factor. So we get x squared because 2 times x squared is 2x squared. We get plus x because 2 times x is 2x. And then we get minus 12. So now we're really just factorising x squared plus x take away 12. And we just proceed as normal. So we now do factors of minus 12. 
So we've got minus 12 plus 1, and then the opposite, plus 12 minus 1. And once you get good at these, you'll be able to skip some of the factors. It'll be obvious that we don't make 1 in the middle ever, but we'll do it for completeness, all of them. So we've got plus 6 minus 2, or we've got minus 6 add 2, and then you've got plus 3 minus 4, or minus 3 and add 4. Checking what these sums make. The first one says minus 12 add 1, so that's minus 11. I'm looking for, remember, this middle term here, which is plus 1x, so it's not that one. 12 take away 1 is 11, so it's not that one. 6 take away 2 is 4, so it's not that one. Minus 6 add 2 is minus 4, so obviously not that one. Getting down the list, 3 take away 4 is minus 1. Well, it's not that one, I need a plus 1x. Minus 3 add 4 is plus 1, so that's my one I want. So I draw my rectangle. You'll have x minus 3, and you'll have x plus 4. So just checking those answers, you get x squared minus 3x plus 4x. 4 times minus 3 is minus 12. Just a last double check. The two diagonal ones, 4x take away 3x is plus 1x, so it's definitely going to be correct. So my final answer, which I'll do in blue, is x minus 3, which is the top, and x plus 4. But don't remember, forget to put the two in front that you started with way back up here when you first did the question, because your common factor was 2. So you need two in your final answer outside, otherwise you've not done the full question. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that was helpful for factorising tr basic trinomials. Join us on our next video to factorise trinomials where the number in front of x squared is really another number and what, how we deal with that. Thank you very much and stay safe. Bye.